Well, another woman has come forward and says Herschel Walker paid for one of my abortions as well. And the question we have at this time is, does this even matter to the very same Republican voters who say abortion is the most important issue to them? Background on this some weeks ago, uh, Georgia Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker uh, had a woman come forward and say, hey, you know what? He publicly says no exceptions for abortion, nothing, 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 always against it because it's murder. But he urged me to get and paid for an abortion for me some years ago. And then later, when he got me pregnant again, he tried to get me to, to have another abortion. But that time I refused. And he is the father of one of my children. This was one woman. Herschel Walker denied it with very little credibility, admitting that, yes, he did send a check to the woman, but it was for the kid they had together, even though he sent the check years before that kid was born. Completely unbelievable. Any sensible person looks at the facts and says, of course, Herschel Walker paid for this woman's abortion. It's very, very clear. Another woman has now come forward and said Herschel Walker impregnated me and also urged me to get and paid for an abortion. That woman, uh, known currently as Jane Doe, is represented by attorney Gloria Allred. And uh, let's listen to a little bit of the press conference yesterday. This is, again, a second woman. Our client alleges that Mr. Walker gave her cash to pay for the abortion and that she went to a clinic in Dallas, Texas. However, while she was at the clinic, she became overwhelmed with emotion. She could not go through with it, and she left the clinic in tears. When Mr. Walker called that night, our client told him what had happened and that she had not gone through with the abortion. He was upset. He pressured her to go back to the clinic with him the next day to go through with the abortion. The following day, Mr. Walker drove her to the clinic and waited in the parking lot for hours until the abortion was completed and she came out. Mm. Then he drove her to the pharmacy to pick up medications and supplies as prescribed and then he drove her home. In the days following the abortion, Mr. Walker began to distance himself from our client. She was very distraught because she felt that Mr. Walker had pressured her into having an abortion. She left Dallas. After she moved out of Dallas, Mr. Walker sent our client a note apologizing for what he had put her through. As you will hear from my client, Jane Doe, she has come forward at this time because she feels that it's important that the truth comes out. So you get the sense and the picture of what's going on here. There is another moment at which Gloria Allred presents what is alleged to be a photo of Herschel Walker in the bed of Jane Doe's hotel room. This is a photo of Herschel Walker in our client's hotel room. On the bed. Again, this is Minnesota. Okay, and then we also heard by voice from the woman herself talking about what happened and making it clear that she's a Trump voter. This is not political for her. I am a registered independent. And I voted for Donald Trump in both elections. I do not believe that Herschel is morally fit to be a U.S. senator. That's clear. And that is the reason why I am speaking up and providing proof. So the question, of course, is, is this going to matter? When we look at the polling in this race, it is a dead heat. Half a point on average separates Raphael Warnock, the incumbent Democratic senator and Herschel Walker. Walker is a liar. Walker is incompetent. Walker has no business being even in this race. But because of what has happened to this country, because of what has happened to the Georgia Republican electorate, Herschel Walker may be the next senator from Georgia which is an incredible, incredible thing.
If you vote in Georgia, there are just days to go. 12 days, right? Is that where we are? Let me see here. Seven. And then, yeah, 12 days. With 12 days to go, we've got to do everything we can to prevent a dangerously unqualified individual from becoming the next senator from Georgia. Let's go now to Herschel Walker's reactions. Something in your home that you use every day contributes to deforestation and climate change, and that's toilet paper. In the U.S. alone, over 30 million trees each year are required to meet toilet paper demands, contributing to deforestation, soil erosion, devastating loss of biodiversity. Our sponsor, Real Paper, makes sustainable toilet paper that is 100 percent made from bamboo. A bamboo stock keeps growing. It can be harvested forever. It means that the soil and the ecosystem aren't disrupted. No carbon removing trees are cut down. The paper industry has a massive effect on deforestation and climate change. But you alone using bamboo toilet paper can make a positive impact because for the toilet paper that just one American uses in their lifetime, hundreds of trees are required. Put an end to that right now with real paper. The best part is the stuff is really great. It's just normal soft toilet paper. Real paper loves the David Pakman show. They're giving my audience 30 percent off your first order and free shipping. When you go to realpaper.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman at checkout, the link is down below. 